Okay, well, let's see what's going to happen next. I did um, set up a few things while the game was paused. I set the lever here to be pulled, so hopefully the, the two merchants that caused all this will leave. Oh, God, who's going over there? Bagwan the second is going to go pick up something. Okay. I thought he was going to go over there and strike down one of the elves. Um, I claimed all of the bodies there. Let's see. There's still stuff scattered around. Claim that. There's body parts on that level. Looks like there's stuff dropped there. Uh, looks like this level's clear. This level's clear. Yeah, still picking up body parts. Loose stones that people have dropped. Fingers and toes. All this stuff, maybe. Um, how far down did the, did the gore make it? I think we might actually be in the clear. And I placed a whole bunch of coffins up at the top. Badger Man is fighting. Let's see, who are you killing, Badger Man? Z Sword hacks Badger Man in the left foot, tearing apart the muscle, and artery has been torn open. So there they are. Um, I also named all the babies that were born. Between, uh, I, I took the names of their parents for now. Like Ferret, Fiend, and Z Sword, you had a baby, so there's your thing. The baby is currently latched on to Z Sword while he's beating the criminal, he's beating Badger Man down chopped his foot off and actually completely killed him. And Gamma Ray, you begin to throw a tantrum. Z-Sword hacks Badger Man in the left lower leg. The leg sails off. Oh, and Badger Man bleeds to death. Assy in the third, you've been struck by melancholy. You've went insane. Thankfully, it's a peaceful insanity. Oh, calm down, everybody. We can make it through this. We don't have to lose too many more dwarves. People are just stumbling around. <clears throat> Z-Sword hacks Revocane. So there's more fighting. There's more justice being handed out right now. Z-Sword twists the embedded steel battle axe around in Revocane's lower body. Tearing apart the liver. Oh. And Revocane, <laughs> you bled to death. Quit killing each other, all you bastards. We're down to 58 dwarves. You can tell the people just walking around. Completely sad. Um, real quick also before everyone does start dying, I want to check out the dwarves that lost their names here. We have Distot, Erolisi. Erolisi, you killed Joyous Fell, the Grey Wolf. Vazor here, you were a brave warrior. You killed the Grey Wolf, one of them. You struck him down, you bit his throat and tore it out. Chili Noodle, um, Hatchet Grip, you struck down True King of Croatia whenever he was trying to rampage through the fortress. You saved us all from his menace. Box Macleod here, you were a vicious murderer. You have ten notable kills. You just chopped through the werewolves like they didn't even exist. And twenty-one other kills. You're the Crundle Slayer. You've actually got a title now. Marol Grouprock, the Held Enchanter. And let's see, you have a baby, which is the Box Zor baby. Your husband is Rob Zor. And you worship the deity Ugash. Associated with caverns, mountains, and the earth. Um, let's see. We have Mean Melter here. He killed the Grey Werewolf and Thob Pleated Labors, the Obsidian Dwarf. I think you helped protect us as well. Either that or it was a fit of rage that you killed him in. Rob Staley, you killed the Grey Werewolf and two Crundles. Stagger here. Let's see. Who did you kill? You killed Recust Phantom Marches, the Shroom Dwarfette, defending us from them. And Jello Snark, you've killed Iden Hazy Sill and Azen Guildchuck the Dwarf. Uh, chomped him down in their prime. Looks like there's more fighting going on. Sergeant Shima punches Hippo Man in the head. More anger as somebody snaps. Oh, is it just a tantrum? Sergeant Shima punches Hippo Man in the right lower hand. They're fighting back and forth, bickering. I don't think Hippo Man is doing anything. Has he completely lost it? Can I give the kill order? No, I can't give the kill order. Can't strike him down. He's just fighting. Hippo Man's taking it like a like a pro. Sergeant Shima punches Hippo Man in the lower body, bruising the lower spine. We better not paralyze him. Do I need to claim this body here too? So many bodies to bury. At least we might actually have enough room for uh, everyone now. Enough bedrooms. X Cragger is fighting. He's using a dog down in the dining hall here, chopping it into bits. He just chopped its left paw 
wounded it a little bit. Yeah, there's all these body parts that are uh, need to be claimed here. Oh gosh, more fighting. Sergeant Shima is fighting. Who are you colliding with? Z-Sword has come to extract justice on you. Z-Sword hacks Sergeant Shima in the upper body with his steel battle axe, tearing apart the muscle and shattering the right rib. And you bleed to death through your gaping wounds. Oh, there's no telling who's going to go next. Who's going to throw a tantrum and be struck down? Oh, wow. Somebody else just died. x Cragger, you just got killed. Z-Sword walked up to you and hacked you in the lower body with the steel battle axe. Your body was cut in two. And you fell down. So how much more justice do we have to be handed out here? Good lord, look at all these people deceased. Gamma Ray, you're going to go to prison. Stagger, I don't know if you're going to get anything. You might have already been dealt with. Z-Hall, I think you're fine. Cicero, Cicero, no sentence for you. Glenn the Third, you're fine. Okay, that should be it. Unless you, unless you want to throw a tantrum. If you want to throw a tantrum, I guess, you know, you just should be prepared for whatever happens. Um, did I set this to be pulled? Yeah. Maybe somebody will go pull it sometime. There's Doodle Alien on break. He's wounded up at the top of the stairs there. How wounded is he? He's starving, thirsty, miserable. He's faint, he's pale. Looks like, um... Let's see... Ability to stand lost. Motor nerve damage. Sensory nerve damage. He's waiting on a diagnosis. I've got to get a hospital built. Um, let's see. I still don't have any damn beds. Go make me some beds, you lazy dwarves. I can't do anything until we get some beds. Maybe I'll tear up this dormitory. That, that we don't need. Let's see. All the way up here. Right here. Um, Get rid of those beds, get rid of that bed, that bed, this bed, this bed, this bed. I'm only gonna leave like four beds in there. And we'll try to get this damn hospital set up. Triple H punches Raid Soft in the upper arm. So they're fighting right here in the stairwell. Triple H punches Raid Soft and bruises it. Was it just a friendly little punch? Oh gosh, we better check the justice screen. Triple H, you're getting 26 days in prison. Speaking of prison. They've got all of my ropes placed now, so can I use these for justice? Um, use chain for justice? Yes, okay. Suspended, let's unsuspend that. Some of these probably got um, suspended by whenever the combat started. Let's see, we'll put this here. Well, I don't want to assign any animals to it. And I'll also have to put beds and stuff in here. I will give all of these prisoners beds. Um, I also need to put food and drink stockpiles in here. That way... I don't have to worry about a constant stream of, of dwarf servants constantly hauling food to and fro. Let's see, you know, we'll also set these two rooms up for justice. Now quit beating people to death. No more, no more murder. I want people thrown in jail instead. Triple H punches Alkeem in the third in the right foot. So they're fighting in the dining hall there. You're going to get it, Triple H. You're going to get what's coming to you. The spinning cave spider silk strikes Peter in the left lower leg, bruising the fat. I, I don't think... I don't think you can hear that voiceover. So, um, let's see. Well, the Sylvan Elf Merchant has gone berserk, because nobody went to pull that lever. So scramble the military. A, B, C, D. I don't care what the hell you're all doing. Go take care of these damn elves. Kill them all. Every single one of them. I don't care who's left. We're going to set a rectangle here, kill all of them. I want Mame dead, I want Alpha dead, I want the horse and the mule dead. They are going to be struck down and killed. Somebody's dead. Gamma Ray, you bled to death, been struck down. The military charges forward. The cut hatchet grip, Chili Noodle, leads the way, led by 24 volunteers behind him. I stock for cash, you're there. Vazer, you're there. Everybody charges forth. The Sylvan Elf merchant throws Chili Noodle by the left lower back tooth. He rolls down the tunnel. 24 volunteers lands a punch on the horse. It neighs and throws a kick. But that tunnel is pretty thin. Slaxer, you've gone berserk. Stark raving mad. Uh, very actually, you've landed a punch on the Sylvan Elf Merchant's right upper arm. More people are going insane. They stream down the tunnel, chasing after the elf. It was only a matter of time until he went insane anyways. Yeah, you know what? Don't even worry about pulling this lever now, guys. There's no one that needs to leave. Strike down the donkey and the mule. 
and they kill all of them. A, B, C, D, and E. Stand down. Okay, somebody else bleeds to death. And Triple H, you've been struck down. Z Lunatic, you're throwing a tantrum. Triple H got his punishment, his justice, I guess. I'm not sure uh, who struck you down. Rob Staley, you're throwing a tantrum. Oh, more people through here. Everybody's just shaking their head. Nobody knows what to do. It's a complete disaster. A complete and utter disaster. There's blood and guts all over the place. Stagger is attacking. Stagger slashes Rob Staley in the head with the obsidian short sword, but it's deflected by the copper helm. Stagger slashes Rob Staley in the head again, but it's deflected by the copper helm. So Stagger's going crazy. He stabs Rob Staley, but it's um, deflected by the copper gauntlets. Well, he may end up killing somebody anyways. Haul them all down to jail. Anybody who resists, anybody who's violent, lock them up in the jail cells here. I don't see anybody tied to the chains yet. Get the whips out. Let's see. We have Dowd Pride here. He's not doing anything. Oh. Another person's went insane. Griffin God, stricken by melancholy. Oh, man. All of these people slowly snapping, giving into it. Hey, on the good side of thing, our smelters are still running. Let's see. How many bars do we have? I need to start making armor. We have 76... 75 pure iron bars and I do have this um, workshop set up so it only will be used by expert and legendary armor smiths or well expert legendary any any smiths let's see we'll make iron I want breastplates um, I don't know how many should we make let's make four of those for now and um, four greaves, and how about two shields there. That will probably take some time if we can even do it. Z Hall's calmed down. Rob Staley's calmed down from his wounds, from being stabbed for no reason. Let's see, we got dead war dogs there. J7, you're paralyzed in the hallway there. We've got Vozer stricken by melancholy, just wandering up and down the hallway here. Emer Elisi's throwing a tantrum somewhere. There's our little Nith animal caretaker. Running around, laughing, probably. Mr. Oasis, you're here, miserable, wounded. Are those beds tore down yet? Can I start getting this hospital set up? Oh, goodness. Thank goodness. We've got all these beds now. Let's place them here. Start getting this hospital placed. Oh, needs more beds. Do I have any traction benches? No, I don't. Let's see. We do need containers here as well. So where should our containers be? As much as I like the design of this place, I didn't really think it through. Um, you know what? I'm going to put the coffers here. In all these little slots here. Just no bags. And then we'll start filling those with cloth and thread and gauze and other stuff to be used by our, our non-existent doctors. Okay, let's see. Place the zones. Make this whole huge area. Um, well, yeah, this whole huge area right here. That is all the hospital. And the hospital information, it's got nine beds, 12 tables, 13 boxes and bags. It doesn't have any traction benches yet, but it will. Mr. Oasis cancels sleep. He's too busy resting from his injuries. Oh, look at the dead bodies down in here. The lunatic has calmed down. And all these puppies, too. I'm thinking I need to throw them in a pit. Or sacrifice them or something. So people are moving down here into the hospital. They're slowly streaming in. Laying in various corners. Laying on beds. Here comes some of the coffers, finally. Oh, this will take a little bit of time. A doodle alien is throwing a tantrum. And the dwarves suspend construction of the coffer. Why? Was something standing there? It's possible that rock was claimed. Oh, gosh. e Elisi, you've gone berserk, wherever you are. Um, are you in here? I think you might be in the bed, hungry and dehydrated underneath all that stink. Your, your rotting body. Yeah, there you go. Um, the gilded flags. 
Kill this dwarf. Kill him. Mean Melter stabs Irolisi in the lower body. Where are they fighting at? They're fighting there in the mist of stink. Mean Melter shakes Irolisi around by the left lower leg, tearing apart the left lower leg's fat and bruising the bone. And then he runs his sword right through um, Irolisi's lower body, spilling his guts on the floor. And he chops him down. So stand down, Gilded Flags. Mean Melter spilled the blood so no one else would have to. Oh god, more people going insane. Quit going insane. Jello Snark, you've went insane. Stricken by melancholy. Oh my god, people. This is a ticking time bomb because all these insane people are going to die of dehydration. And then more people are going to go insane. Alkima punches the stray hunting dog in the right rear leg, bruising the muscle. Animal abuser. Rob's throwing a tantrum. And Alchemy has calmed down. He rests his case. Go lay down in your bed. And it's impossible for me to follow all this around with the camera. Let's see, Glenn, you're throwing a tantrum. What are you doing in here? Vazer, he's constructing wooden bins. What a hard-working lad. I do need all those bins made, so I'm going to leave them there. And all those barrels at some point. No more crafts, though. Our crafting days are done with for a bit. Construct building. Master Azra is on his way to build something here. I think he's picking up a coffer, yeah. He grabs a coffer and heads down to the hospital. Oh, look at all these people. Griffin gods wandering outside the front doors of the hospital. There's Jello Snark. Relieved from his post. Oh, man. We need a grand treasurer now. Let's replace that. Let's see, Zihal and Rob. Um, Zihal, you've been throwing tantrums, so Rob, you're getting the grand treasurer for now. A psychiatrist. You were wounded, weren't you, Mr. Oasis? I don't think you'll be able to take care of anyone. Mean Melter, you will not make a good psychiatrist. You're too busy chopping people down. Um, Calrog Man. Expert, 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 skilled consular. I wish you weren't injured, Mr. Oasis. I would try to make you, but I know you're injured. So, Calrog Man, you're the new psychiatrist. Our chief medical dwarf is Zihal. There, Zihal. You can be the chief medical dwarf, then. Captain of the Guard. Um, where's Mean Melter at? Mean Melter, you're the new captain of the Guard. Congratulations, you've been promoted. I might have to remove you from um, the squad there. I'm not sure. A dungeon master. We lost our dungeon master. I don't have anybody with any type of training skills. We don't need a dungeon master at this point. And Mr. Oasis, you are the mayor. So we'll leave you there. And I need to get some of these people situated. So let's see. Our new mayor, Mr. Oasis, he needs a fancy bedroom. And a bed was destroyed by Z Hall. You are going to have to calm down. Um, I don't know where we should put these bedrooms at for them. Oh gosh. Doodle Alien, you have went berserk and insane. It's your turn to go mad. Your right ankle's broken. Your left cheek is dented. You're laying in the bed here. Completely insane. Gilded Flags. Uh, we're going to have to scramble you to strike down Doodle Alien. Get up there, Mean Melter. It's your chance again to spill some more blood. We give the kill order as he begins limping out of the barracks there. And... Capianon stabs Alkima in the upper body with the obsidian short sword, bruising the muscle, bruising the left lung, and he strikes him down. Oh, and thank the heavens, maybe a bunch of migrants have arrived. Let's see. Not very many. We have 53 dwarfs right now. This migration wave will bring us up to 61. Let's see if we can get them inside. I'm going to pull this lever and um, see what happens. So we got more fighting down here, I think. Somebody was. Capion stabs Alchemia in the head, bruising the muscle and fracturing the skull. So, rest in peace, Alchemia. And the gilded flags, you can stand down. I'm gonna have to redo the military soon. Somebody died. Yep, you suffocated, finally. Oh, who's fighting now? Mean Melter is fighting somebody. Mean Melter steps up. Look at all these people piled in this corner here. This is ridiculous. Mean Melter slashes Z Hall in the head, bruising the muscle, and um, Z Hall, fuck. Our chief medical dwarf is gonna die. Or at least be put into a coma. Mean Melter stabs Z Hall in the head, bruising the muscle and shattering the skull. 
And then uh, Mean Melter throws a tantrum. Or maybe he just decided to cut our medical door because he was having a tantrum. I don't know. Oh god. Now what? Stagger slaps the war dog in the head with the flat of his obsidian short sword, bruising the muscle. And Zhal has suffocated to death. Okay, we need a new chief medical dwarf. Anyone else willing to step up? Box McCloud, nobody else has any diagnostic skills. Oh boy. Let's see. Who has I need somebody who just arrived, I think. Bimble, no. Yeah, I want someone okay. We're going to have a Chief Medical Dwarf here who is nobody yet. Let's see. I want someone who's not going to have a nervous breakdown in the middle of all this. Let's see. We've got all these people down here. A farmer, woodcutter, brewer, peasant, engineer, a fisher, dwarf. I think we will put this peasant here. Peasants don't have any skills. They don't have anything, really. So it'll be a good learning point for Zaz. Zazit Limil. Good luck, buddy. You're going to need it. Calrog man... I need to get you an office. Let's see. Is this office open yet? Yes, it is. So, congratulations, Calrog man. This is your new office. And this is your new dining hall. Study in there, eat in there, and everything else. And Mean Melter slabs, I, stabs eye stock for cash in the right hand, bruising the muscle. I'm going to throw your ass in jail real soon, Mean Melter, if you don't stop killing people. Mean Melter slashes eye stock for cash in the upper body, but the attack is deflected by the pigtail fiber cloak. Oh, and the war dog has suffocated and given in to the pain. Let's see, how's our jail system look? Is anybody in here? Yep, we got somebody locked up. Stagger, he's in a training session, it says. He's training while he's in jail. And he's the only one in there for now. Oh, so much drama, you dwarfs. Just calm down for a bit. Quit killing each other. I don't know how many more times I can ask that. Got more bodies over here that need to be buried. Let's see. Do I I need to set up some of these caskets that I placed in this stairwell here. Enable them. Let's see. Use for burial. Yep. Let all of these be used for burial. But no pets. Not yet. I don't have a pet cemetery. I might at some point. Way down the line. If we ever get past crap like this going on. Open up all these. These are right near the dining hall and the dormitory, so people will have to see those dead people whenever they walk by. Let's see, there's Tilla the fourth, the Daedric Dwarf the third. Tilla, you didn't have a very good run this time either on, on your fourth character. There's Ferret Fiend the third. There's Tilla the third. The I, Peter. Let's see. More empty caskets up here we can enable. Oh boy. All of these. Okay. Mean Melter is throwing another tantrum. Somebody lock him up. I don't care if he is the is the sheriff or not. Stagger, you've got 41 days in prison. You're going to be training in there for quite some time. Does anybody else have anything coming to him? Yeah. Mean Melter, you have a beating and 26 days in prison on the way. As soon as one of our guards manages to um get around to it. Capianon slashes Mean Melter, so Mean Melter is getting his justice. Let's see. Capianon slashes Mean Melter in the head, bruising the muscle and fracturing the skull. He slashes him in the lower body, but the attack is deflected. And he slashes him in the left upper arm, but the attack is deflected. So he wells on him for a bit. Staggers throwing a tantrum in his jail cell. Mean Melter lives, though. Major Born is throwing another tantrum. And Bagwams went insane. Just melancholy, though, thankfully down here in the hospital where everybody is piled up oh, Mr. Weatherpants is throwing a tantrum quick somebody place all these beds all you new migrants who've arrived start hauling furniture down to the to the hospital I really wish I would have had the hospital set up before I decided to also let all of the werewolves into the base Bad decisions, backed by bad decisions. Oh, goodness. Now Major Born stabs the stray cow. Major Born's up here. He's just beating a cow. That's fine. You'll get what's coming to you. 
The spinning Diorite strikes the stray donkey full in the left front hood, in the in the hoof, and the hoof flies off. So Major Born threw a rock and it just ripped an animal's thing off of a hoof. How much trouble are you in, Mage? You have a beating, but no prison time, so we can expect you to get punished here in just a moment. The stray cow regains consciousness and then gives in to the pain and falls over. Stagger calms down and begins etching lines into his prison cell, counting the days as they go past. Campionon punches Mage Reborn, so Campionon is thankfully just punching people. I think he lost his weapon. It might have been stuck in one of the dwarves that he stabbed. Campionon punches Mage Reborn in the right lower leg. A ligament's been torn. And A-Tier, you just threw a tantrum, and... I don't think you destroyed anything. Are you going to get some justice, A-Tier? No. It does not look like you were asking for it. But you did destroy a bed, which makes me kind of unhappy. I need all the beds we can get right now. Okay, I do need to do one thing here. Let's see. I'm going to pause the game for just a moment. I need to enable a whole bunch of um, medical dwarves here. Just to get... Because we don't have... I, looking at dwarf therapist here, I don't have hardly any dwarves with skill in medical now. Because all the ones that had anything when they arrived as migrants, they're all dead. Um, got a whole bunch of people here. I'm just going to switch these on and then I'll unpause it. And we can follow along again. Get all of these people doing something. There we go. Commit those changes. And yeah, I'm not going to name the new migrants just yet. They can um, continue to walk around nameless. But I am going to close this drawbridge, hopefully. Somebody go pull this lever now. The new migrants are arrived. We're up to 59 population. We're going to seal them into this hellhole, get them named, and I'll see how long they survive. Mean Melter's throwing another tantrum. A tear? Are you throwing a tantrum too? Yeah, you're right here. I thought you went melancholy or something. Do I need to claim all these body parts? I guess we get all the stuff that the merchants arrived with too, don't we? Since I had to kill them. Okay, and the bridge is closed. So we are sealed off from the outside world once more. And not that being in here alone with angry dwarves is any better. Oh gosh, people are fighting again. The Z-Sword hacks weather pants in the fourth finger, severing a motor nerve. He'll never craft the same way again. He hacks him in the left hand, shattering the bone. A motor nerve's been severed. Yeah, you're probably gonna die. Z-Sword hacks Mr. Weatherpants in the right upper arm, shattering the bone and shattering the right shoulder bone. A ligament's been torn. He then kicks you while you're down on the ground in the left lower leg, breaking your foot and bruising the bone. Ligaments tear, of course. And you're left to wonder why. But you know why. Whatever you did. I think you destroyed something or threw a tantrum. Oh, somebody else is getting beat up now. A tier punches Napoleon in the head with the right hand, bruising the muscle through the silkworm stuff. Yeah, you're gonna get a beating, so let's see, A tier. You you were gonna be fine, I think, until you started punching people in the head. Mean Melter, Mage Reborn, Mr. Weatherpants, no sentence pending for any of them. No sentence pending, no sentence pending. Okay, so yeah, maybe maybe you won't get any punishment yet. Just don't kill anyone. Stagger is throwing a tantrum. Somebody else went insane? Oh, Rob, you went insane. You went completely stark raving mad. Right there in the corner. Um, let's see, actually. I think I should probably scramble the military to kill you. I think. Um, you're running through the hospital right now. You're not berserk, though, so no. You're just going to run around with your clothes off, maybe throw yourself into the volcano somewhere. I'm going to have to en engrave tablets for some of these dwarves, maybe. Mr. Oasis or something. A tier punches Napoleon in the upper body, bruising the muscle and shattering the rib. He then kicks you in the right foot. A tier grabs Napoleon by the lower right back tooth and begins yanking. Napoleon scrambles away somewhere. Now, where are they fighting at? Uh, no talent. I think Napoleon managed to scramble the way, though, and avoided being killed by a tear. But look at all these dwarves. Look at that. There's at least five dwarves all piled onto that one little table there. It's quite ridiculous. Hospital. Yeah, we're doing fine. The Z Sword scratches A tear on the right lower arm. So, A tear, you're finally getting your justice. 
Um, let's see, where was that? Out here on the bridge. Z sword arrived, and the sensory nerve has been severed in your uh, left upper leg, tearing through the muscle. The steel axe lodges in the wound. Z sword twists it around and grins as he stares into your eyes. And then Atir bleeds to death. Struck down by another overzealous guard who couldn't hold his hand just a bit. Oh, all these body parts to pick up. The Nith came up there, saw the blood slipped, slid for a little bit, and then decided to get the hell back out of there. And go back down to the caverns where it's safe. Yeah, so it looks like all the dwarves, all the freed dwarves, they're getting trinkets and stuff, moving them to bins, perhaps. I need to set up a few stockpiles at some point. Got all these bins here being filled with goodies. Um, I guess... Oh, I don't have a manager now? Maybe we don't have anyone who can even make armor? Let's see. We'll replace the manager, skilled organizer. I think you're injured, Rob. Let's see. Your health... Ability to grasp is somewhat impaired. You know what, Rob? I guess you can. Well, no, I can't. I'm, I think you're in the military. Which means you would never have much time for organizing. Or whatever we're going to do here, managing. Oh, well, you're going to take the position anyways. And a grand treasurer. Let's see. A proficient record keeper. Okay. Bim Uno Lodum, our fisher dwarf here who just arrived. You can be our grand treasurer. We'll get those places filled in. Oh, let's see. What is it? What do our other nobles here need? Mr. Oasis, you still need everything. I don't know if I have a bedroom set up for you just yet. Um, let's see. Which room should we give to our mayor? One of these bedrooms, maybe? It is fairly fancy for a mayor. Hmm. Well, yeah, I'll put his bed right here. A bed can go there, and I'm going to put another noble's bed in these two corners. This whole thing will be one noble's bedroom, but he's going to have um, one main dining hall and an office with two little offshoot bedrooms. The mayor, however, is going to have one huge bedroom that will have a, maybe an office over here or something, and other stuff scattered about. Let's get the doors up so that the stinky smell of all the dead, decaying dwarves doesn't loft into their bedrooms. All the miasma laying around, floating around. Gonna drive more dwarves to be insane. And Glenn the Third, you've calmed down. Hmm. There they go, carrying the beds. Still have that set on repeat to construct beds. Do I have any traction benches being made? Probably not. Let's see. How many ropes can I make? Weave cloth? No. Maybe I need to go, go to the clothier's workshop, collect, collect. Let's see. Leather workshop there, farmer's workshop. Rendering fat there. Yeah, I don't think I actually have a clothier's workshop. No! And Mr. Weatherpants, you went insane, stricken with melancholy. We've got more blue exclamation mark broken hearted dwarves wandering the hallway. There goes Slaxer running around babbling. Slaxer berry axes. I guess this is going to mean plenty of food for everyone, though. And someone gives birth to a baby boy. Mean Melter, you just gave birth to a baby boy. Let's see. Cog Eisenthal here. Or, yeah, whatever. Cog something. Mean Melter is the mother. And Griffin God is the father. And if I'm not mistaken, Griffin God's completely insane. So let's see. Griffin Melter. That's who it is. Griffin Melter, baby. Maybe it'll grow up into be something less crazy than the parents. Griffin... Whoops. Griffin Melter. There we go. Now grow up to be a brave, strong dwarf amid all this chaos. Lord Ilmarat's grown up to be a, a turkey... A full-grown turkey. Uh, well, it is 12th Galena, 1078, late summer. I am really hoping things have kind of settled down here so that we can get get back into some type of groove. We'll make this uh, a justice area. These are, all, these are all rooms of justice. 
Let's see, how are you doing in here? Stagger. He's doing a training session. He's thirsty and miserable, but for the most part, he's still doing fine. Um, you know, let's see. Custom stockpile. Let's, what's the settings on this? We have drink, plant drinks. I will leave plenty of uh, drinks there. So let's see. We'll put a custom stockpile in every corner, which is where one barrel of alcohol will be placed for every prisoner. On the other side, or maybe like right next to it, I'll also do a custom food stockpile. Um, yeah. And that'll have to work. And at some point, maybe they'll all get their own beds and stuff too. Oh god, Rob Staley, you had to go insane too? You went stark raving mad. Of course you were in that pile of dwarfs right there. Pile of dwarfs that no one can do anything about. We've got Ashtesh Dumont Badak here. Roughness Sector, the Mason, he's suturing some wounds. Oh, so they're trying to take care of some of these dwarfs that are wounded. Um... I'm actually going to save it, take a break. I, I'll have these dwarves named whenever I come back. So we know what's going on. And let's see. Calrog man, you cancel smelting. And infidel, you've been taken by a fey mood. You were in the uh, booze closet, drinking all by yourself, pondering the recent events. Whenever you decided you just had to create something. So maybe you'll create something completely amazing to m memorialize this bloodshed. Infidel has claimed a mason's workshop. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to let the dwarves, um... Well, I guess I won't let them get back to work. I'm actually going to pause it, save it, and um, whenever I come back, we'll pick up where all this murder left off and all of these new migrants that arrived and don't have names. Will have names. Okay, well, I'm getting ready to unpause it once more so we can continue to see what chaos unfolds. Um, but before that, let's take a look at the character screen there. All the dwarves. Um, we do have 59 dwarves, and here they all are. Unfortunately, some of the dwarves on these screens will be leaving um, this realm very shortly. They, um, of course, have went insane, melancholy, most of them. All the berserk ones we struck down. But um, all the new migrants have been named... Everything uh, should be good there. I went through my list, made sure that um, I've tried to get everyone again. If I missed anyone, apologies. I'll be I'll be doing my best to add you when the migrants arrive again. For the babies, if people don't respond, um, or if I even miss the comments, I might just continue to do this. I kind of like this. It'll be a merger of you and your loved one um, for all eternity, and that that way nobody really gets to pick the name except me. In fact, that is more fair, because how would I do it if both people respond? Uh, make them roll the dice or something? That would be too much work for me. So this is how the babies are going to be named, actually. Forget naming your own babies. Um, that's how it's going to happen. So let's see. I think that's it, though. That's all the babies. That's all of the dwarves. That's all of the dead people here. All pages of it. You can go through frame by frame and see everything we've slaughtered there. I'm sure it's glorious. Um, but, yeah, we'll unpause it. It is 15th Galena, late summer. Oh, I need to get my combat mini ready. I'm sure they're going to start killing themselves very shortly. Let's see, there's Chili Noodle picking up equipment. He probably is trying to get some armor strapped to his body while he still can. Um, speaking of armor, our Magma Forge still hasn't been manned by anybody. I did have to assign a new manager. I put Daedric Dwarf the fourth as um, our new manager. And let's see, Irelisi, you turned out to be the chief medical dwarf, and there's some other people I think who got names in there. And um, yeah, some of the migrants lucked out and got noble roles or uh, responsibility roles that they'll probably lose as soon as they start sucking at their job. And a keeper caravan from Everler Brawley has arrived. Too damn bad. We are not putting that drawbridge down. Nope. Everything is... We're, we're locked up tight for now, unless migrants arrive. If migrants arrive, I'm going to do my best to get them inside. We got tantrums being thrown. Mage reborn in Glen, you better keep it under control. The guards have not calmed down. 
and an Ashikam caravan from Urparati has arrived. Just stay out there and uh, continue to shift sand. Infidel has begun a mysterious construction. Oh, I cannot wait to see what this is. Um, let's see. We do have a whole bunch of dwarves idle right now. Master Azra, cancel smelt ore. We're out of hematite. I can get our smelters doing something else. Let's see. What other ores do we have? We could start smelting down gold, copper, malachite, galena. Um, I think galena is more more iron. I'm going to continue to stockpile iron for now. We'll try to get a base suit of iron for the all the military. Oh boy, the military. Glenn has calmed down. I kind of just want to disband the military here. Is he a lunatic to throw in a tantrum and just um, completely reshuffle it? I don't know. Like the spotted sacks, there's only two members there. They could be shifted. The other squads are still kind of okay. Oh gosh. Z Lunatic strikes Mr. Weatherpants up there in the small cafe. Z Lunatic strikes him in the left lower leg with the copper pick. Tearing through the muscle, an artery has been opened up. And then Z Lunatic storms off. And strikes Mr. Weatherpants again. And then you calm down, stand up, and dust yourself off. And walk slowly away. Man. So much anger. They were all so happy. They were all such a happy family at one point. It wasn't too long ago. Now they can't even look each other in the eye. Calrog man has thrown a tantrum. He cancels smelting ore. And he begins to look for something to break. Let's check our justice again. I want to see who's got, got stuff coming to him. Z Lunatic, you're getting a beating in 25 days in prison. Uh, mean Melter, you're still waiting on your prison sentence. And Swag Stagger, yeah, you're serving your prison sentence. Oh gosh, that person looked like a Terminator. Who was that? It's Hippo Man. He's set to eat. Okay. Somebody's going to be fighting Z Lunatic very shortly. I can only hope they show some type of mercy. Here's the dining hall area. Let's see. Who's upset here? It's Cappy Anon the Third. He's miserable. He doesn't have any battle wounds, though. So he's still doing rather well compared to most people. And let's see, Calrog Man is throwing a tantrum and punches Edgar Figaro in the left hand. And then punches him in the right lower leg. Just bruising him. They both stand up and pick themselves up. No telling where they're brawling at. Woohoo! An infidel you've created! Um, Malal Kefed, a slate statue of Kahara Wasp Rooter. Let's take a look at that. It's called the Messianic Crutch. And it is valued at 33,000 dwarf bucks. Wow. This is a slate statue of Kihara Wasp Rooter. All crafts dwarfship is of the highest quality. The item is a masterfully designed image of Kihara Wasp Rooter, the Nord and Monitor Lizards in Slate by Avalel Athmathul. Kihara Wasp Rooter is surrounded by the Monitor Lizards. The artwork relates to the taming of the monitor lizards of the humid desert by the Nord Kihara Wasp Rooter in the late autumn of 533, during the journey of the Nord Kihara Wasp Rooter. It is encrusted with slate. This object is adorned with hanging rings of slate and menaces with spikes of crundle bone and pure iron. On the item is an image of Nish Fortune Ivory, the treasure of willing, the deity of trade and wealth, depicted as a male steel dwarf in pure iron. Nish Fortune Ivory, the treasure of willing, looks offended, and on the item is an image of three acacias in Berserite. Huh, so who is Nish Fortune Ivory again? I'm not exactly sure I know them. Maybe we'll get some more stories about him sometime, too. Um, so let's see, very good. I'm not sure exactly what we'll do with that. Um, is there anything else going on? Maybe we'll place that statue in the jail or something. Or on the bridge, actually. To honor... The battle that happened here. Capianon slashes Calrog Man in the upper body. Oh boy, so now... Yeah, somebody's getting killed. Calrog Man's getting his justice brought to him. Calrog Man 
You're holding on to your baby there, your Zalrog man baby. Mr. Insane is there. You're very unhappy. Um, thankfully, your cloak is deflecting a couple of the blows. Capianon slashes, and they run away. Where did they go? Oh, I had some guests show up there, so let's see, um, what was going on? Capianon slashes Calrog Man in the lower body, but the attack is deflected by the bog frog leather cloak. That's right. Uh, Calrog Man was getting his beating. Let's see, Voser is there. There's Zalrog Baby. It's no longer attached to Calrog Man. That's not a good sign. Uh, the Forgotten Beast is down on that level, apparently. Calrog Man stands up and dusts himself off. I think he fell all the way down the stairs, maybe? Is that what happens when they get knocked down? Well, either way, you're alive. You're not dead yet. So, it is 23rd Galena. And Master Fancy Pants, you've died in the hospital, I think. <sighs> Our dwarfs were unable to take care of you. You know what? I need to also probably make more buckets. I haven't seen, um... I haven't seen any alerts that people were unable to get water for the thirsty, but you can never be too sure. J-Man stabs Box Macleod in the left upper arm, lightly tapping the target. Okay, wow. Oh, they're just sparring. For once, it's not murder. Cancels place traction bench. No traction bench is present. And Calrog Man is throwing a tantrum. Don't do it again. Calrog man, don't do it. Um, don't know where you're throwing a tantrum, man. I do want to find out, though. Let's see. Zoom to you. You are right here in the hospital, throwing a tantrum on the bed. So, I actually don't think you're going anywhere. Are you throwing a tantrum in your sleep? You're unconscious. Unconscious. You've got brain damage. Your ability to grasp is somewhat impaired. You took your beating rather, rather harshly. It shows. With any luck, you'll pull through, though. We can only cross our fingers and hope at this point. It's not even up to the skill of the doctors, it's up to luck. Box MacLeod strikes J-Man in the third toe, lightly tapping the target, stunning him just for one brief moment. Oh, I think things might finally be calming down. Oh, and Mage Reborn, you just went insane and were stricken by melancholy. You were laying in bed, I think. Wounded anyways. You weren't going to be able to do very much. Let's see. Put that bed back. Do I have any more beds yet? I think I do. I'm going to start getting more people hauled here. One bed. Okay. Oh, and Mr. Oasis, or Oasis, however you want to pronounce it. You've given birth to a girl. Um... Job item lost or destroyed, so that bed won't be placed. We'll have to get back to making more. Let's let's check out that baby. Where is it? Right there on top of the beer barrel is where you dropped it. Um, it's called Min Ming Jimsterd, and it is the mother is Mister Oasis and the father is Master Fancy Pants. So that'll be what Fancy O Fancy Asses Fancy Sis. Pantsis? I think that's it. Pantsis. Um, this will be Pantsis, baby. Let's change its name here. Pantsis, baby. There we go. And hopefully it doesn't get stuck with that name its whole life. Maybe it'll earn a title or something to replace it. Because uh, I'm not going to change it again. Unless it grows up and then we'll remove the baby part. Boy, let's see. You know what? I do need to do something else. Calrog man, you've calmed down. Um, I want. I I need to break into one of these Z levels here, to one of these empty ones, and start gathering some silk thread. I think we're gonna breach this cavern layer here and start removing these ramps, and trying to um get some of this silk thread up here. So let's see. I'm gonna remove all of these walls. And actually, I think that'll be good. Yeah, we'll remove those and get our miners. If we have any miners left that aren't dead, to remove that, remove those ramps, remove those ramps, 
and you know what? Get them to remove those ramps too. So they'll go exploring back there just a little bit. And um, yeah, that'll do. Once they breach through there, we'll actually get some of our masons up to put a wall here. If I, if I try to do it now, they'll say that uh, they can't reach the area. So we'll give them just a moment. And what did somebody complain about? Calrog's throwing a tantrum as they try to tie him down to the operating table. Okay, they breached that, that wall there. Let's place this, build this here. Damn it, this mushroom's going to be in the way. Um, yeah, okay. Well, we'll make this out of rhyolite right there. And um, suspend this, suspend this, and suspend that one. And then chop down this tree here. Maybe, yes, somebody does have an axe. So they'll chop that down, hopefully, before somebody tries to build that wall. Unable to collect webs, so they're finally starting to path to it, maybe. Oh, I'm getting web spam. I, I, sometimes they do that. And it's normally not too bad, but I do have sound sense, so I might get spammed. No. The dwarfs say no. We will say no. It is impossible. We say no to you, sir. And Dreadsoft, you've died from thirst. Sadly. Okay, you, you jerks down here with your threads. Collect webs, cancel both of those. Um, I may have to turn auto collect off. We'll see. Are you guys done complaining? Good. Sometimes they just tart up like that and can't path. Oh, he's, he's starting it up again, I think. So yeah, we'll get this collected and we'll hopefully have it hauled off to the uh, hospital. So we've got that sealed off there. Ooh, and we've got water up here. So let's actually remove all this. And, um, I'm actually going to leave the waterway open. I am not going to seal off the walls here. The only thing that will be able to get to us is things that can swim. Which, I hope it's not too much. No, no, we cannot collect the webs. It's impossible to collect these webs for you. Yes. Quit screaming at me. Somebody went insane there, I think. Let's see, who went insane? Um, Glenn the third has went stark raving mad. There he is. I think. Jeff Major just passed by him and looked over his shoulder. Um, yeah, so congratulations, Glenn. You're now insane. Were you a noble? Um, no, I don't think you were. Speaking of nobles, I'm gonna have to get my nobles some, uh, some bedrooms and offices soon. They're still demanding stuff, and I'm not being a good, a good overlord for them. So let's see. Yep, that's fine then. Look at all this silk. All this wonderful silk. If they can never, um, ever get around to pathing to it. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I don't think anyone's going to kill themselves. I'm going to try to let them sort out their pathing issues here. And, um, the fort is peaceful. It is 5th limestone, early autumn. We have a population of 58. And so far, the only thing we really have to worry about are people dying in the hospital from infections and starvation and thirst. And Box McLeod, Box Milod, Box MacLeod, you've grown attached to an iron battle axe. 